So we're talking about number four there. What is it? What's the pitch inventory on that one? P P B D F G. Sharp A, right? So we got yeah. major at the top, and then the, the chord underneath. Like B minor seven note slash B. So we got C E C E G, right? Wait, what is a C? C. The line C, the first line is a C, right? B seven plus nine. B plus C though. No, I said the line would be a C, right? Mm -hmm. So the note would be a D, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we had G, D, E, G, right? Mm -hmm. E, G, B, D. E, e G B D is the spelling the pitch inventory for number four, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a what? That's a E minor seven, right? Yeah. And then what's the top chord there? D F sharp A. G major. It's a D over E minor seven, right? Mm -hmm. Slash. E minor seven with the fifth in the bass. So what would the composite chord be for all those notes? E minor seven plus one. So you got E, G, B, D, F sharp, A. So E, G, B, D would be e minor, the minor seven, the F sharp would be the nine, and the A would be the what? Plus nine. 11. 11, right? Yeah, 11. So it's an E minor 11? Uh -huh. Are you able to follow this, Kitty? Uh -huh. So we got E minor 11 there, right? Or D over E minor 7 slash B? Does everybody agree? Yeah. Okay. Number five. Hmm. What's the pitch inventory say? Isn't it just B, D, F sharp, A? Yeah. It is. What's that? Just B minor seven. Okay. Oh. Now what would the polychord of that be? D slash A over what? B. B. D over B minor, right? Yeah. Okay. Now the next one, who'd like to try the next one? Heck no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm confused on where the sharps like. Yeah. Left. Like where did like where did the sharps? What notes do they belong to? That's like, a D sharp, right? Well, D sharp. Yeah, I'm looking at that one too. I e? think it's a D sharp. But what about the E? Is the E sharp? I think so. Which okay. one are you on? Number six. The number six. Um, yeah, the bass. Yeah, the sharp's pretty far to the left, isn't it? D sharp, E sharp. Well, there's the bottom three are sharp, so yeah. G, B, D, right? And the A is G sharp, B, D sharp, E sharp. E. And then there's slash E sharp. Yeah, it should be G sharp B, G e sharp, sharp E sharp, right? For the polychord, I have D sharp over E sharp minor seven slash G sharp. Perfect. What? 
Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. So uh, now we're talking about some kind of composite chord with an E sharp. E sharp, G sharp, B sharp, right? So that sound, that's, that's a minor chord. E sharp, minor. Um, so the F double sharp. The B looks like there's no sharp on the B though. It looks like the sharp is on the D sharp and the E sharp, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh. That would be like a diminished chord. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I think a more proper notation would be to put the uh, D sharp to the right of the stack. Let me show you. I think this would be more of a proper notation here. Oh, I can't read it. Yeah. It's, I can't read it. No. I can't see it. Worry. How about if I do this? Um, you number six how I did that oh okay I see now yeah I, I still can't so we got e sharp g sharp E sharp G B over to the right. Yeah. So we've got E sharp G B sharp. E sharp though. G E, G, G sharp, B, D sharp, E. Sharp, E sharp. So E sharp, G, B sharp, D. Well, that would be half diminished then. E sharp would be F to G. So E sharp, G, see the sharp would have to be on the G, G sharp, B, D Wouldn't sharp. E sharp half diminished? Yeah, E sharp, G sharp, B, D sharp. Yeah, E sharp half diminished. Over D sharp. And then the top chord is a D sharp major chord. We got D sharp, F double sharp, A sharp. So that's D sharp major with um, flash. Um, so here's our spelling. We got E sharp. That's a horrible chord. <laughs> I know. <laughs> E sharp, G, e sharp over A sharp, sharp, e sharp, B, D sharp, F double sharp, A sharp. So we got this spelling E sharp, G sharp, B. So that's E diminished, right? Mm -hmm. And the D sharp is a flat seven, right? So there's your half diminished. And the F double sharp will be a half diminished ninth chord. And the A sharp, half diminished 11th chord. So it'd be E sharp, half diminished 11. That's gross. 
Well, so now that's why people like to play polychords. But why would you do something in E sharp? True. Hmm. <laughs> Well, you know, you never know. I mean, the guy who wrote the composition might be pissed off at the keyboard player. <laughs> I get even with him. <laughs> That's messed up. It's messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's messed up. All right, the net, let's do number seven. Gladly do number seven. It's another B minor seven, isn't it? What? Tell me how. Wait. That ten there's A B D F sharp. Right hand is A D F sharp. So you got a D over what? D over A. D slash A over B minor seven slash G. Yeah. So you get a, a left the base is B D F sharp A. Yeah. A's in the bass. Yeah. Mm. B, D, F sharp is B minor, right? Yeah. B, yeah. D, F sharp, A is minor seven, right? Yeah. That's a B minor seven? Yeah. And then the top, you got a D, right? D major? Yeah. yeah. D over B minor seven, you guys got that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the particulars are D slash A over B minor seven slash A, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was much easier. Okay, number eight. How about Kitty? Um, for the the top chords of G minor over B flat. G and flat is D. the bottom one. Um. E, e G flat. flat D flat, right? Yeah. Or is that flat on the E flat? E flat G B flat D flat, right? I don't it's, think there's no D flat. Just no. B and E. E flat G B. Right? And then the bass clef, right? Yeah. With that, that flat that's over to the left with that is that on the take us on the E or the E. E flat, right? I think it might be for the E. So it's a natural D? Yeah. Yeah. So if E flat's the root, the natural D is a major seven, right? Yeah. yeah. So E flat e G, major seven. B flat D, that's an E flat major seven, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, G, the G, if you're an E flat, the G would be a major third, right? Yeah. Um, so we got G minor over E flat major seven? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Now let's go on to the next one. Oh. Now, do you have that page you on? Yeah, yeah, 24, yeah. Did you ever find 23? No, I think it never was in mine, I guess. You other guys, everybody else have 23? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have 23? It's a sad day in Metropolis. Sad day in Long Beach. Sad, are you in Long Beach? Yeah. I have one student who's Taking lessons, he's in Bangkok. Ooh. A Laverne student, yeah. Yeah. He's complaining because all his classes are at four in the morning. Oh, uh, <laughs> that sucks. Uh, really? Does he work too? Huh? Does he work too or just go to school? Or? He's quarantined. Bangkok. Oh. I guess they're real serious about it over there. Oh, they are. are. Oh. They, they got a martial, they got almost martial law. There's a curfew, you know. 10 o'clock, you're out on the street, you get arrested.
Okay, so number nine. Does anyone remember that Beatles tune? You guys remember number nine from the Beatles? Oh, man. And you even went to Citrus, didn't you? Yeah. Did you take the Beatles test? No, there's a Beatles test. Don't, they, don't you have a guy who teaches the Beatles test up there? I don't know. I have a Beatles book. I should. The history of rock and roll at Citrus, they have a Beatles test. It's supposed to be, a, it's like a world famous Beatles test. All the music teachers in California know about this guy. The 200 question Beatles test, man. Uh, it sounds intense. <laughs> Heisel, what's the guy's name up there? Oh, he retired this last year. Oh, so that's why there's no more Beatles test. Yeah, he oh, just. Gunner? He's he's super cool. He gave out like all his records from his office. Like he just handed them out. Huh. He, he that's has great. Um, yes. Where was I? Where? Why didn't I get to attend that? He had so many copies of like the records. So like he's like, here, you guys want these? And he was just handing them out to people, whoever wanted, whoever had a record player at home or wanted. I heard record. that he's also like in charge of like some succulent society. I don't. Know, I don't know about that. Does that mean like, they eat, what do they eat? Watermelons or something? No, yeah. like the plants. Like like he'll like give. I don't know if he gives lectures or what, but it's like some like respected society of like horticulture or something then they're like an arboretum and all this stuff i haven't heard anything about that <laughs> but he's a super cool guy he's super nice and like i heard that he hates all the students i don't know about that at least okay. when i was there everyone was like he hates young people how can you be a teacher <laughs> yeah I, I don't i don't think that's true because i've met him and he's he's pretty cool well, anyway, all I know, I know is that uh, I wished I knew about that Beatles test back in the 80s when I was going. I was ping-ponging back and forth between Citrus and Chafee. Are you kidding me? Everyone in the 80s would have passed that test. Like, so totally. <laughs> that was everything they were listening to. <laughs> well, the common thing to do is if you go to Citrus and then if you get a bad grade, you get an attitude, then you go, screw this, I'm going to Chafee. And then you, he would go up to Chafee until they get a bad grade. Then they go, screw this. I'm going back to Citrus. <laughs> that was common. Everybody did that. And then uh, Mount Sac didn't really get developed until like the 2000s. You know, they didn't really have their act together for music. And then now they have a big, gigantic department for music. And, uh, you know, one of the secret music departments that nobody knows about, which is awfully good, is the Cal Poly. They Ooh. have a really good, they have a really good. Oh yeah, I heard that too. They have a hidden music department. And uh, they've got some pretty cool people. There's the guy who teaches there, who's a phenomenal classical guitarist named Peter Yates. And he's not a regular classical guitarist. He's a more 20, 20th century, 21st century music classical guitar. All the really wild, crazy dissonant stuff as he plays and he's uh, he's really an interesting character <laughs> okay so let's go let's do a few more of these and then we'll move on to um we only got a few minutes here page we'll do page 26 let's do uh we got one two four people okay yuan you take nine kitty you take ten Kate, you take 11, and Dominique, you take 12. Okay. Okay, so Yuan, what do we get there? Um, on the top, there's A over C sharp, or A slash C sharp over... Um, wait, wait, what's the top chord in number, number nine, page 24? Oh, page 24, yeah. There's C sharp, F sharp, and A, right? Yeah. That's so what chord is that? F sharp minor. Yeah. Over uh, that slash C sharp. And the bottom chord? Is um, A7 over G, uh, slash G. Yeah. So the composite. So it's F sharp slash, um, F sharp minor slash C sharp 
over A7 slash G? Yeah, that would be the polychord, but the composite chord is be the stack, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so you got F sharp, A, C sharp. F sharp, A, C sharp. E, G. G, G. F sharp minor seven flat nine. F sharp, A. F sharp, A, C sharp, E, G. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. Minor seven flat nine. Yeah, because the G, the G is a half step from F sharp, huh? Mm. Flat nine in the bass. If it was a G sharp, then it would be minor nine, but it's a Yeah, flat. but this is like F sharp minor seven flat nine. F sharp minor seven flat nine with a flat nine in the bass. <laughs> I'm, I'm cringing just thinking about how the way that sounds. Okay, good. Okay, who's number 10? I think I was, um, but I'm still working on it because there's like uh, some- Two double sharps. D sharps and E sharps in here. <laughs> yeah, this causes you to go skidding all over the neighborhood. <clears throat> who's number 11? Me. It's just- on, Give it a try. What? Would you like to give it a try? Do I want to give number 10 a try? No, 11. Oh, I already did it. She's it's still e working on 10. E flat seven. E flat seven? Yeah. I mean, the, the in the bass clock, it's not really a chord. It's just a G and a D flat. And the top chord is E flat slash B flat. Um, and so the D flat makes it, that's like the dominant seven, so. Yeah, so it's E flat seven, right? Yeah. And that would be slash G, right? And the top chord would be E flat G, B flat. So that'd be E flat. And the bottom chord would be G, B flat. <laughs> I don't know. That really, that really would not be labeled as a, it's just a fifth. It's a diminished fifth. Diminished yeah. fifth. Okay, who's got 12? Me. Uh, the polychord is G sharp minor over F sharp minor seven. And the composites F sharp minor 13. Yeah, that was pretty quick, good. <clears throat> what do you think, Kitty, are you ready? No. <laughs> okay, pass on that one. That one is pretty tough. Yeah. yeah that, that. I know that the base note is um the assumed root is a C sharp. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. Now you guys have all the videos for chapter four on Blackboard, so they're back up if you want to watch those again. Let's keep going on to the next page here. Let's go to page 26. Page 26. So chord family four includes 11 interchangeable chord forms. In exercise one, you are to write the 11 forms of chord family four in all keys. The key of C minor major has been completed to serve as an example. Remember, chord family four functions as the one chord in a minor tonality. So you write the forms of the one minor in each key given below. Add whatever accidentals are needed for each key center. In each case, write the notes from the root up, so root position. So we got C minor, C minor, add D. So that's just adding a second to the triad, right? Mm -hmm. And then C minor plus five. See, those are going outside the realm of functional harmony. Like functional harmony, what were the triads? Major, minor, augmented, diminished, and then later sus four, and then after that sus two, right? But a sus two triad, the two takes the place of the three, doesn't it? Yeah. And in a sus four triad, the four takes the place of the three, right? Mm -hmm. Uh. And then in functional harmony, what's a four-three suspension, Kate? In what? 
in functional harmony, meaning from the common era. What's mm -hmm. the four three suspension? I'm not sure. I've never been taught that terminology. Isn't it just going from the four down to the yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. you had all those functional harmony classes, right, Dominique? Yeah. Yeah. So four three means the fourth. You start with a sus four and you resolve it to a three. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's a four three suspension. Okay, yeah, I knew that. Dominique, do you remember the other kinds of suspensions? Um not off the top of my head. I think I have them written down somewhere around here. Somewhere in the building? Somewhere in my notes over here. Well, it's just it's just an off the cuff question, so don't worry about it. Did Reed cover that in harmony too? They just get the three or the four three. Four three? How many two they just get into secondary dominance? Is that it? Yeah. And everybody freaks out on that? Yeah. That's why half my class dropped. There's only like four people left. Secondary dominance? Yeah, they freaked out. Then they got secondary leading tones and they were they were through with it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, the thing is, you know, I mean, people, either you gravitate towards music theory or you don't. Yeah. I'm one of the kind of guys that does recreational music theory. <laughs> you know, and then uh, some people just can't stand music theory. And they do really well at other things, you know. I mean, everybody's got their own process of learning. Uh, my process has always been just massive amounts of repetition for extended periods of time until I stop forgetting it. <laughs> All right, you on? Let's take the first one. You're F minor today, huh? Yeah. So what do we got for the one minor chord? F A flat C. F A flat C. Now, one minor, add nine. F, G, A flat, C. Yeah, you guys getting this? Yeah. One minor plus five. Um, F, A flat, C sharp. Yeah. Now we got a four part chord. Yeah. One minor six. F, A flat, C, D. C flat. Yeah, now, here's what, uh, back in 1722, Jean-Philippe Rameau would be called court supposition or double employment, double employment. Yeah. Double employment. So F, A flat, C, D. That's also a D, F, A flat, C, isn't it? Yeah. So would it be a D flat or a D net natural? Isn't it well, a D? F minor, what's the F melodic minor scale? F, G, A flat, melodic e flat, C, D, E, F. E is just natural. Yeah. It's just five to three. Yeah. What was the question again? Oh, I just forgot that we were in melodic minor. Oh, okay. Well, the thing about the melodic minor and the minor scale and the harmonic minor, those are all like commonly interchanged with each other. So if the solution doesn't present itself in melodic minor, you look to one of the other minor scales to see if you can solve it. And that's common straight across the board. 
minor, when somebody says major, we know it's major, right? And only later on did they go Lydian. And then minor, people were doing minor, but they were melodic minor. And then it spells it out really clearly when the original melodic minor scale was a natural six and a natural seven going up and a flat seven and a flat six going down. They spelled it out right there. You know, to show you that this thing is a moving target, folks, you know. There's no there's no set fixed way of doing a minor scale. It's like it's a it's a it's a shifty, shifty moving target. So if you can't solve it with a melodic minor, you try one of the other minors, you know. Okay, number five, you want? Uh number five, what? Uh F A flat C E. Is everybody there? Yeah. Are we still on page 26? Yeah. Yeah. Key of F minor, exercise five. Mm -hmm. One major minor, it says one major major seven. Oops. <laughs> oh. It's a major major seven. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they meant minor major seven, right? Yeah. Because if it were a major seven, you wouldn't call it a major major seven, would you? It'd just be a major seven then. Yeah. No. Okay, now number six. Um, F, A flat, C, E flat. Okay, so F, A flat, C, E flat. Now, that is stepping outside of the melodic minor scale, right? It's going back to the natural minor scale, right? Because the one chord in melodic minor doesn't have a minor seven in it, it's a minor major seven, right? Am I losing everybody? So let's color those notes in solid notes instead of instead of whole notes. Let's call them color them in solid to indicate that that's the different scale. Oh, okay. Okay, number seven, you want? Um, F A flat C E G. F A flat C E G good C minor major nine. Now yeah. substitute for a minor major nine is a major six nine. Minor major six nine. Yeah. God. Isn't so at, um, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. What's F minor six nine? F minor six nine? F A flat. C, C E a D T G right yeah Cody just turned on the bathtub. <laughs> cat turned on the bathtub. Yes, he did. Oh. We used to have a cat. We had a fridge, and before we replaced it, we had this fridge that had the freezer in the bottom part. You know, of the of the fridge, there was two doors, right, and the seal around the freezer. The magnets kind of really wore out. So it was like really easy to like pull open. And the cat figured out how to open the freezer. And he, pull, he used to pull out like chickens out of there and like he would- That's a strong cat. Yeah. <laughs> but the chickens were frozen so he couldn't eat them until they thawed out. So he would sit there in the kitchen and wait for the, for the chicken to thaw out. And, it, and then we get home from work and then it'd be like chicken all over the floor in the kitchen and the door of the freezer would be open. <laughs> the cat figured out how to do it. Even we, we put duct tape on it. He managed to pull the duct tape off. <laughs> and we got a new fridge. He was screwed after that. Okay, number nine. F, A flat, C, E, G, B flat. F, a flat C E G B flat. Okay. Well, let's do 30 more seconds. Minor six nine. F A flat C D G B. B yeah. Would it be a B flat? F A flat C D. Oh yeah, B flat. B flat. D G B flat, yeah. Yeah, B flat. Last one, then we'll go. No, uh, it's F A flat C E flat G B D. 
flat C. E. E flat. E. Wait, why? Are we doing the six nine? Minor. No, the last one. Uh, Actually, one minor. one minor thirteen. The way it's written, it would just be a um, uh, flat seven in there, right? Yeah. But yeah. I think, I think if we go to the nomenclature on the example key, C minor major thirteen. I think that's what's intended. Uh yeah. No, but look at the rest of the pages. It all says minor thirteen. I think it's okay. We'll go with uh, minor thirteen. So that's F A flat C E flat, right? Yeah. G B flat D, right? Yeah. Because D is the six of F, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So now for Friday, let's do some more of these. Page twenty-seven. No class on Friday. What? There's no classes on Friday because it's Good Friday. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh yeah, huh? Wait, is it? Well, I don't know. I didn't know I recognized. I'm, I'm, that. I'm already confused now because we're always at home. There's no Friday. Every day is a holiday. <laughs> Huh. They honor Good Friday, but they don't honor Good Friday. <laughs> they honor Good Friday, right? Because I guess it's still at, like a... At the Claremont Colleges, they don't honor Good Friday, but they honor Cesar Chavez's birthday. I was over there one time, it was during Cesar Chavez's birthday, and everything was closed. I'm going, what the hell? Why is everything closed? Oh, it's Cesar Chavez's day. Oh, yeah. Who? What did he do? He picked lettuce? He <laughs> <laughs> was like a civil rights guy for lettuce workers or something. No. I think he was... helped implement some workers' rights for immigrants and that kind of thing. And wasn't Dodger Stadium named after him? Right, 1500 Cesar Chavez Ravine? Oh, I think so. So, whatever. We're going to have... Uh, like Che Guevara Day or something like that. Or Benito Mussolini afternoon. Oh. All right, so let's try on Monday. Let's try this page here. Let's try to attack page 31. Okay. And page 32 on Monday, okay? How far we can get. It looks like that's going to be a Wednesday page there. Yeah, these are these are pretty tough. Take your time. Yeah, these are these are getting to be more where we're going to start analyzing tunes. Cool. So you have to read through the text and try a couple of these on your own, and then we'll. We'll try to step up to the plate on Monday, okay, guys? Yeah. All right, thanks for coming today. Um, who's in touch with – anybody in touch with Jeannie? I, I will see if she comes to class tonight. Well, you could tell her she these – She our first class either. I had a class with her this morning, and she didn't come to that either. What I don't understand is if you're sick and you're home – what? <laughs> Why do you have to miss if you're sick? I mean, when I'm sick, I sit there and surf the internet anyway, you know? Maybe like spelling out chords when you have a headache. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard on your head. Yeah. Yes, uh, I, I get it. You just spell out D minor when you're sick. <laughs> well, we've been instructed by the dean and the president and everybody to go extremely lean on the grades because of this COVID-19 problem on the online stuff, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't have to walk <laughs> to class we'll anymore. Like, see if your biology teachers comply with that, right? Biology is just vocabulary. If you just study vocabulary. I don't know how they're going to grade labs <laughs> now. Yeah, that's the... Somebody told me that they had to buy their own lab kits and do them at home. Or they do online labs or something. How do you do online labs? I don't know. <laughs> you, dra you drag and paste the... <laughs> Kind of the different right area. <laughs> oh,
I would be lost. I would say just get your own physical lab kit and get a book on how to do it or something, you know, whatever. Probably. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there, guys. I'll see you guys on Monday. Monday. Friday. Monday, huh? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't rain again on Monday. Better not. <laughs> <laughs>